Hey you, this is Jasim from Codeband and in this video I'm going to be showing you what is init.py in you know a python package. So if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So without any further, let's jump right into it. All right guys, so I'm gonna demonstrate the whole process. So I have created a main.py file, which will be the root Python file, where it will be, you know, where the things would get executed. And what I'm gonna do now is, you know, create a package, a Python package, and I'll name it as functions. Now, for those of you who are not, who are not familiar with, you know, Python packages, they are just, you know, uh, a directory that contains some mod Python modules and other sub packages. So in here, in this functions, you know, Python package, I'm gonna create a new module, uh, and I will name it as arithmetic.py. So before going into that, I'm just creating, you know, uh, that init.py uh, file underscore underscore in it underscore underscore dot py and I'll demonstrate the use case by the way let me finish this stuff so in this one uh, I'm gonna add you know two methods uh, for just an example uh, def ab add ab then I'll just you know uh, return uh, a plus b and in the in the similar way I'm, I'm gonna just do you know the uh, subtraction so I'll just say sub and return a minus b so that's it guys so uh, I'm also creating you know a sub package here inside you know this functions Python package so I'll name this as you know simply sub uh, pkg for instance and in, you know uh, I'll add that init or py here in also and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just creating you know another uh, module here and I will name it as you know something like new module.py and what I'm gonna do here is you know I'm just doing a def uh, you know print uh, maybe I could say print hello which does not take any arguments and I'll just you know print uh, like uh, hello so that's it and I'll just return so uh, that, that's all you know about this stuff you know and now I'm, what I'm gonna do is, you know, I'm gonna demonstrate the whole process of init.py. So in, in arithmetic, dot, sorry, in main.py, what I'm gonna do is I'm just importing, uh, you know, those steps like, you know, the, the functions, arithmetic, I want to add two numbers, for instance. So what I will do is, you know, I'll just write from functions uh, dot arithmetic import add. And I could simply say, you know, print add, uh, like I'll say just five and six. Now, if I run uh, my code here, Python main dot py, then I get, you know, 11. So, you know, the use case of this init dot py is that, you know, uh, it will, if, if it is not present, then, you know, the package will not be considered as a Python package. Or, or, or we could say, you know, this directory, this functions directory has an init.py file. And if this was not present, then this should not be, this will not be considered as a Python package. And, you know, if it was not a Python package, then you could not do, you know, these imports. So this was the case in Python 3.3 or earlier versions. So in those cases, this file was mandatory. But from there on, this is, you know, uh, this does not make any sense. Or you could say you can simply delete those init.py files. And, you know, if you run the code again, this one still works. So that was the case in Python 3.3 or earlier. But now, you know, this one, uh, you know, is not mandatory. But, say, but, you know, this has got two important functions, you know, which are still used. Like, you know, if I control Z those stuffs and bring it back again. Now this init.py, suppose I, I'll do, you know, I'll take this uh, functions init.py. If I do say print hello world here, print hello world, then what I could possibly see is, you know, in the output has that hello world. 
Now what this does is, you know, in the main.py, if we do import, you know, uh, functions from functions, I could say, then it will automatic it will automatically runs this init.py file. So whatever in here is executed. So it just printed hello world. So this is very important concept. So what you could possibly do is, you know, the first one, the first use I'm demonstrating, it is just a convenience, you know, use case. It is used for convenience. So what I could possibly say here is from dot arithmetic import, uh, you know, I could say star. Then it will import those add and sub functions. So if I do say like this, now if we uh, go to the main dot py, then, you know, in the, from up to here, from functions you know it will execute the functions in it dot py so which will execute from dot arithmetic import star means which will import all those stuffs in arithmetic so now i can simply say you know you know this stuff only from functions import add i don't want that arithmetic you know here because you know we already you know imported you know everything from arithmetic in in its init.py this is very convenient because you know a user doesn't have to you know uh, or or the developer doesn't have to you know explicitly you know go to this functions dot arithmetic import add you know he don't have to explicitly say that he could just say from functions import add and now if we run the code again we got the same exact stuff now this is one important use case of you know having that init.py file so the next one the second important use case is you know nothing but it is nothing but you know if you want to you know if you want to, if you want something to be initialized you know for example uh, logging you know which should be done at the top level meaning you know this is the the the, the most top level you know uh, if we are importing the functions this will be the first one to execute you know and herein you could simply you know instantiate or initialize those logging configurations for example i could say you know import logging uh, logging dot config so herein i could say you know uh, logging dot config dot dict config of you know you could easily say you know your configurations here you know your logging configurations here you know that is you know just you know a, a good method of initializing your logging configuration up at the root level that is you know in the init.py now this is the second you know important use case of init.py still and you know uh, if, if you're just you know doing a blank in it .py, it is not at all you know needed from you know Python 3.4 I could say or after Python 3.3 you know it will just consider you know every every directories as you know Python packages itself so th this is all about you know this any dot py file so hope you understood the video and if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it so thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one